So today's video is gonna be like the last installment on this Aaron's mower. Um, I got like maybe three other videos after I bought it, just in series of different things that needed to be done. And this is the last one. So on this video, I'm gonna put a new deck belt on. I'm gonna put the deck back on. Actually, in one of the previous videos, I, I raised uh, the nuts to raise the deck, which I did it too high. So I'm gonna lower those back down. Um, I got a belt keeper I'm putting on. So this is the last installment, most likely, for this errands. Enjoy the video. But let me go ahead and show you about the belt, how to route the belt onto a mower, and maybe give you some tips on how to, to route a belt on a mower, even if you don't have the diagram. So this is the mower deck. Remember, this was bent. Well, this bracket was bent, and I got it straightened out. Of course, this is the new belt. Now, on most mower decks, it's got the, the belt pattern. Let's see, let me get it down, yeah, right there. So, I've done that, but let me give you a tip on this. And I didn't know this for a little while. It's just kind of common sense, really. But like on this, on this pulley, it's got the groove. You know, it's, it's got a V-shape inside of it. I don't know if you can see it. But it's a V-shape. Well, so the V-shape of the belt goes into that. So you know for a fact, which is obvious on this, that the V-shape goes in that. Now on this pulley, let me try to make some room here, it's flat. Right there, it's all flat. So if I didn't really know which way I was going, I would at least know the flat part of the belt, which is the flat part right here, or you know, right here, goes up against the flat part of a pulley. Same thing over here. This pulley, this is a, oh, I guess that's an idler pulley. And this is probably, a, this is the one that goes back and forth for the brakes. So maybe it's a tension pulley, I don't know. But anyways, it's flat. And so I got the flat part of the belt on this. Going over to this one, this is you know pretty simple deck, but it's got the V shape. Of course, the V's there. So, so if you're trying to route one and you didn't have that diagram and you weren't looking or, I mean, this goes for any belt on any system. I don't care if it's a drive belt on a mower and you don't have the information in front of you, at least you can know, all right, the V part goes here, the flat part goes here, and you can kind of figure out the routing on it. Uh, so I have that. It's a 16 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna take that off. Look, if you don't have an impact, you should probably get one if you're going to be working on these at all. But I use mine all the time. You can use a regular socket and wrench, but it's not as good. But let me go ahead and take this off. I'm going to sharpen the blades. I am going to stop this video just for a second and ask you to subscribe to my channel if you like these more videos. Sure, that's good and snug. As simple as that. Clean break on that somehow. Hey, belt keepers on there. There it is. Upcoming video right here. All right, so I'm fixing to slide this deck under there. All right, let's slow it down for a second. Let me tell you what I've been doing. After I slid the deck under there, of course, this was on the highest part. This was on the highest part, the deck lever, just to make room because these things are hanging down. I didn't want to hit it. Now that I'm hooking it up, I lowered it all the way down. Remember, this is how you raise and lower the deck with that screw going up. You can see right there, I went here to here, probably an inch, inch and a quarter. So when I raise it, I got that much more room. So anyway, I put that in. Now what I was struggling with is getting this bolted back in. 
wasn't a big deal. I almost forgot it. Put that pin in. Got the belt routed around the pulley. Now, before I take off, I'm gonna make sure that belt is still in place and all the pulleys. So now I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna do this one, that one, and that one, and I'll put the front on. Okay, so I'm on, on the other side, everything's done. The belt's on, it's inside the belt keeper. By the way, I put some two by fours under the front just to lift it up enough so that bracket would fit. But now, so everything's done. You see, you know, that's on and that's on. So there's five points, they're all connected. We raise the deck. Now, get it on the level ground. So now I'll get that deck on level ground. Whoa, camera. <clears throat> and take a tape measure and go down when it, you know, on the site setting and just make sure you got the same distance on each side. And if you don't, lower or raise that nut I just showed you on either side. You just have to figure it out. But now this is the most important part because I've messed this up before is make sure that belt, brand new belt, is inside still all the belt keepers and up against the pulleys like they should be. Because if, <clears throat> if it's not and you engage that belt, you're going to start cutting on it uh, with a belt keeper or something like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to check that out real close. And then next thing is I'm going to mow with it and see what happens. Right. But look what I've done. I got it on setting six. So there's three more it could go up. But I moved that nut up so high. Look there. The, the stopper is keeping it from going any higher. So what I'll probably do is lower that. And I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but that's something you gotta look out for that I really forgot about. So I went overboard, so really half an inch. Well, you saw where I was at, so don't go as far as I did. I mean, um, that, that uh, little stopper there is there, because if you go up real high, those pulleys are gonna start hitting the bottom of the mower and mess everything up. But anyway, I'll just lower it a little bit. And I'm just going to back those uh, two nuts down. So, you know, half an inch and it should be fine. All right, let's see if this thing moves. So everything's perfect about that machine. We got the oil leak stopped. We put the pulley bracket. We put it back in the place it was bent. Put a new belt on it. Put a belt keeper on it. That's, that was a big thing because the belt was falling off. I didn't know why until I saw it. But anyway, so the only the mistake I made is I raised the deck too high. I can't, so I'm, I'm gonna do it off camera because all you gotta do is remove, lower those bolts down. I'm gonna go about half an inch on all three of them probably. Nothing. I don't know if it's gonna be the very next video, but this one's coming soon, right here. Just got it. We're gonna have to do a few things to it. We're probably gonna clean that carburetor. And then the toe in is jacked up on, on it. So we're about to fix that. I, mean, I think everything, I mean, it surges. So that might be the next video if I don't have something else in between then. Thanks. Okay, one last thing. One of my subscribers, I, I don't know how to pronounce your channel name. All right, so I'm gonna put it on here, but it's Hip Dizali. I don't know. But anyway, he's been communicating with me quite a bit and had a question about how I connect 
all my trailers together. So let me show you what I do. So this is on the back of this trailer. It's got the tabletop on it. Look man, I'm, this is just a 90 degree bracket that came off an old mower. I'm not even sure what it was for, but right here. I just bolted it on, had a hole right there so I can take the next trailer, hook it right into here, and you're good to go. And they all got different ones. Um, this just depends on what kind of L bracket I got. So I know I murdered your name, your channel name, but you got a cool channel, man. This guy has a monster uh, mower. So Sears Craftsman, one of the old green ones. And it's cool. So go look at his page and check out that monster mower. Now you hadn't put out a video in looks like a couple of years. So maybe you get back to doing it because it's cool. But that's how I hook my trailers together. Um, you just keep on getting brackets like that, bolting them on there. You just got to figure I just figure it out every time. But hey, thanks for the question. Talk to you later.